So in this lecture, I'll discuss about uh, how to eliminate the static hazard. Here I am discussing how to eliminate the static one hazard. So consider the previous example, the same example. F equal to x1, x2 plus x2 bar x3. This is the equation. Okay. So you need to make it into K map. So equation is there. You have to draw the K map. Uh, or you can use another method. Two methods are there. I'll show both of them. This is x1, x2 plus x2 bar x3. We, our aim is to eliminate this hazard. How to eliminate this hazard? That, have, that we will check. So look at here x1, x2, x2 bar x3. Okay. So one is remain, the remaining. You have to. This is uh, sum of products. Okay. So, so sum of product form. So you have to expand it. One way is here x3 is missing. You can put you can here you can put x3 plus x3 bar you can multiply this term with x3 plus x3 bar this term x1 is missing so you can multiply this term with x1 plus x1 bar no change in x1 plus x1 bar you can multiply so, okay so x1 x2 x3 x1 x2 x3 bar x2 x3 x2 bar x3 x1 x2 bar x3 x1 plus x1 bar i multiply actually okay to make it complete so x2 bar x3 x1 x2 bar x3 x1 bar so this is the complete representation of the uh, expression one way is that that you can map it to k map how this is 1 1 1 this is 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 so this is x1 x2 x3 so k map realization we are doing uh, this is the expression you can you have to map this to k map actually this is the reverse process actually this is the um, uh, complete abstract form how to get this abstract form by reducing k map you will get this form but here you have to take inverse of this you have the abstract form you have to make it into k map you have to map this into k map you can't directly map so two ways are there one is this um, what is the missing term x3 is missing so multiply x3 plus x3 bar into this term here x1 is missing so multiply x1 plus x1 bar into this term and expand you will get this term okay and now substitute this uh, this is x1 x2 x3 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 this is 1 1 1 so what is 1 1 1 1 1 1 so 1 is here now 1 1 0 1 1 0 so this term now 101 one zero one is what 101 one. so it is 1 now 001 zero zero one. what is 001 one? Zero zero one is this so you can map this equation into here like this way so what is the method this is uh, you can do like this x1 x2 into mixing the missing time is x3 so x3 plus x3 bar plus x2 bar x3 into here the missing time is x1 plus x1 bar Mixing name is x1, so you can multiply this. So expand this, you will get this. Okay, that is one method, and you substitute the values for bar. You can put zero. Otherwise, you can put one. So that corresponding things you can map easily to here. Or another method is another method is this. See, this is f equal to x1, x2 plus x2 bar x3. Okay, so x1 is there, x2 is there. Missing is x3. Okay, so you know that. The x1 is 1, x2 is 1. So this is x1, this is x2. x1 is 1 means this entire region. x2 is 1. Where becomes where x2 is 1, x2 is 1. This is x2. First term is x2. That means this is x2, 1. Here it is x2, 1. So these two are 1, 1. Why? Because this is the one way. So x1, x2. Okay. x1 is 1. That means here our somehow our uh, one should be somewhere in this region in this second row and x2 is 1 so this is x2 x3 so first term is x2 where is x2 1 here is 2 1 here is 2 1 so this two term is 1 1 and now x2 bar x3 how to map x2 bar x3 so x2 bar means x, x2 bar means first term is 0 so first term 0 means this is 0, this is 0, but x3 is 1. So 0, 1 means this is the value 0, 1. And here x1 is missing, so you have to put these two. This is the column, 
but here you don't know what it is so you can put both one one because x1 is missing here so one and zero you have to put one one so this is the mapping okay so by mapping you will get this equation okay so this is the method now our aim is to find out how to eliminate the static hazard so look at here this is our circuit so how to eliminate this is one 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 so we group this like this this is the actual method but here uh, we can't map this this one one why because this is a redundant group we call it as redundant okay always it is mapped this is grouped this is also a double it is grouped but if you mark this this is actually a redundant group but to eliminate static hazard you have to consider the redundant group that's why i map this two also so to eliminate static hazard you have to map the redundant group okay to mapping redundant group what will be the equation x1 this zero one goes x1 into x3 so another term comes to the circuit x1 into x3 so our equation was x1 s2 plus x2 bar s3 now we use this redundant groups to eliminate static hazard so it will become x2 uh, sorry x1 x3 this two that means see this two so from this two you will get x3 so x and s3 extra you come you add okay so this way static hazard we can eliminate let us check is it correct or not static hazard can be eliminated by eliminating third prime implicant x1 s3 eliminated by static hazard can be eliminated by third prime implicant x1 s3 now changing s2 from 1 to 0 we will check first we draw the circuit x1 x2 x3 this this equation you have to map like this okay x1 x3 so x1 x3 and get x2 bar x3 x2 bar x3 this and get x1 x2 this um, this x1 x2 this and get and all these things are connected to orbit you will get f okay now let us check whether the um, static one hazard is eliminated or not okay now initially now changing x2 from 1 to 0 would have no effect on output because x1 x3 is always 1 irrespective of the value of x2 suppose uh, initially it is 0 0 0 what will be here here it is 0 okay and here it is uh, this 0 0 here it is 0 uh, here it is 0 okay this is 1 uh, this is 0 output is 0 and this is 0 0 this is 0 0 0 output is 0 only okay and that is for uh, sorry for uh, we need to consider 1 only okay so first we need to consider 1 output to 1 so we are, here we are considering one static one hazard no so 1 that means this is 1 this is 1 okay this is 1 1 so 1 output is 1 only okay now uh, x2 is changing from 1 to 0 okay x2 is changing from 1 to 0 what will happen this is actually initially it was 1 initially it is 1 so it is 0 so output is 0 okay initially it was 1 1 1 so it is 1 here uh, here it is 1 here but here 1 uh, that 1 0 here 0 1 0 so output is 1 only now what I will change is I will change this from 1 to 0 1 to 0 so here it is 1 here it is 0 but this 1 changes to 0 that 0 change that means here should it should be changes to 1 but it won't change this should change changes to here 1 to 0 because s2 changes to 0 1 to 0 but this 0 won't changes to 1 why because a propagation delay is there so input is 0 but output is not 1 why because propagation delay so it will be exist as 0 okay let, let us check what will happen to other circuit so uh, by our method it will go to 0 but that 0 should be avoided that we that's why we are drawing this circuit okay uh, so this can be eliminated uh, how, so this one so here it is 0 only not it is not 1 it is actually 0 only so this is 1 1 
this is 1 here and this one changes to 0 ok this one changes to 0 that means that 0 came here ok 1 into 0 0 see here it is 1 here it is uh, x1 x3 is 1 only always 1 so it is 1 uh, here it is uh, 0 x2 is 0 1 into 0 0 0 plus 1 1 only see so the thing is always x1 x3 is 1 always input to this OR gate that means OR gate 1 input is always here this is always the 1 right suppose in second case what I am doing second case what I am doing 1 1 x1 x2 x3 that means 1 1 1 1 initially now I am changing this to 0 but this is 1 x1 x3 is always 1 only so that 1 came to OR gate so whatever may be the propagation delay here it won't affect here why because one input of OR gate is one that means output is always one clear this input not uh, never affected to this okay why because one input to the OR gate is always one so output is always one only that means uh, we are expecting one it won't go to zero this zero set it won't go to zero it always existing in one state only so that's how this is how one static one can be eliminated.